We're still with the parable of the sower, and we're looking at the seed that fell on good ground. That's what we'll be waiting for. Matthew chapter 13, verse 8. But others fell on good ground and yielded a crop, some a hundredfold, some sixty, and some thirty. So, so far we've been seeing the seed of the farmer falling on all the wrong uh, and non productive soil. But finally, uh, we see the good seed that falls on good ground. And so, uh, we, we are introduced to the good ground. Now, when you look at the parable, it will seem as if majority of the seed fell on bad circumstances. So, if you just did a, an averaging of percentages, it will seem as if uh, three quarters uh, fell on bad ground and only one quarter fell on good ground. But that's not the only way to look at the passage. If you look at the passage, especially when it talks about the good ground, it talks about some and some and some, and then it talks about percentages. In other words, the majority of the seed fell on good ground and yielded uh, a harvest for the farmer. And, and that's what we want to trust God, that most of us will receive the word of God well, uh, and, and that the word of God will bear good fruit in our lives. The good ground is what every sower aims to sow their seed. It is fertile ground, it is well plowed, it is ready to receive seed, and it refers to the person whose heart is ready, whose mind is alert, who, who, who has purged themselves of every limitations that will uh, stop the word of God from getting deep into their hearts so that when the word of God comes in, it begins to bear great fruit. But if you look at it closely, the good ground doesn't yield the same fruits for every seed. Some will yield 100, 60, and 30. In other words, everybody is productive, but the productivity is not at the same level. Why is that so? Because people apply the word of God to, in different measures to their life. There are people who accept uh, the word of God for their salvation of their souls. And that is, of course, the most important thing. But that is not the only thing. The fact that it's most important does not mean it's the only. Uh, and so they, they don't care about anything else. They just get saved. They want to go to heaven. And then there are people who say, well, I, I want to get saved, but I also want to be filled with the Holy Spirit. So they are now receiving more from the word of God. And there are people who say, yeah, I want to be saved. I want to receive the Holy Spirit. And I also want to receive healing. And then there are people who say, I want all these three. And I also want God to prosper me. So each one is going to bear fruit according to how well they apply the word of God to their lives. If you apply it only in a limited sense, that's the fruit you're going to get. But you can get a, a lot more than that. And so, how much do you want to harvest from the word of God? Do you want 100? Do you want 60? Do you want 30? I don't know about you. I want 100. I want it all. Everything that God has for me, everything that God wants me to be, I want to be. Uh, and we have to understand the same God who saves us from sin also heals our body. The same God who saves us from sin also prospers us. The same God who, who used David in the past to fight Goliath can also use me to fight my battles, to win my battles. So if I see God only as my savior or Christ as my savior, but not also as the one who teaches my hands to war and gives me victory, then I will be saved but be losing all of life's battles. If I don't see him as the one who prospers me, I will be saved, but I will not prosper. We must allow the word of God not just to permeate one layer of our lives, but to give us a hundredfold Harvest, And I pray that God will give you a hundredfold harvest of his word. If you're ready, you can receive it in Jesus' name. Well, let's pray. Say with me, Heavenly Father, help me to prepare my heart as a good ground for your word. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, I trust that God has blessed you. I trust that you've been encouraged and you're going to bear a hundredfold harvest. Results. I'm Pastor Mensah Otabel. Shalom, peace, and life to you.